Hello, what's up everyone? Uh, this is our episode 4 um, about setting up your effects pedal and today we're gonna be talking about lead tone. Let's start off with if you're using just one pedal. So I've used this and I've talked about uh, the Boss DS1. The first thing you need to remember is less is more so don't put your gain or the dist all the way up maybe start by doing it halfway in the middle so that you can just add or minus as long as you start in the middle then the next thing is your tone as well put it in the middle so that you will um, try to listen if it's too much trouble or do you wanted it more bassy and the last bit that's very very important is your volume or your level now this one you turn it on then listen to it then turn it off and then listen to it if it's the same volume then that's not your lead tone that's your rhythm it means that when you step on it you can't really differentiate if the uh, um, sound went up the volume went up or down if you're planning to have it as a lead tone you need to crank it up a bit so that it will cut through the mix so that when you play the solo people can really hear it so my technique is um, always try press on it listen and depress on it listen so turn it on and off just to make sure that your lead tone stands out is uh, a lot uh, louder okay so i posted a, a link on the description i got a tutorial on this one now second thing if you're lucky enough and you got a second pedal and then your second pedal so happened to be either an overdrive or that tube screamer or in my case i got this bd2 the blues driver of boss this will act as either my boost so i don't need to put this too loud because it can be used as my crunch or my rhythm but then when i play solo i'll turn this one on meaning the music or the genre or songs that i'm playing i'm already using a distortion not the clean tone um like nirvana for example so it's already noisy there's already distortion to the song now here comes solo obviously i don't want to go down and turn the volume up and sometimes the volume from your guitar doesn't really add much to it so it's good or handy to have the second pedal to boost when you are doing your solo so an overdrive a tube screamer or this one will help okay happy with that the next thing that i'm going to give to you as a tip is to have a delay pedal um this is just an example this is not the best delay pedal that you will be using it's because um, it doesn't have a mix or a level so i can't mix the volume of this with the other pedal but for our discussion um, this will do it's very essential when you're uh, doing a lead tone patch to add a delay so let's say let's go back with this setting so it should be from your guitar, you will need to have this one first, overdrive and then distortion. So that your overdrive will push the distortion. And then your third pedal would be your delay. And then sometimes you still put a reverb. Okay, this is for lead tone. This is like a steady. To make your clean tone sound nice your crunch sound nice when the, the reverb is on but your lead tone 
will sound a lot better when you add a delay to it so this is your um, game changer when you're talking about lead tone patch put a delay to it as i said um, those three pedals i'll introduce you to the musky four in one which you've got the distortion overdrive and the delay you got loop where you can add a separate chain of pedals or a modulation i've also got demos on this one even a playlist i'll put a link in the description um right this delay is really really good because you've got all the necessary knobs we got level delay and repeat okay so that's really handy because you got level you can adjust that when you depress this it's really subtle unlike with this one when you turn it on you can really feel or hear that the delay is there because it will you can't mix it there's no level so i can really recommend this for you guys because it's all complete and then let's move on to our um, digitech and zoom um, effects pedal i hope um, for those of you who are collecting pedals and wanted to or those of you who are planning to buy pedals this will help you where to start um, so let's move on to our next pedals digitech and the zoom pedals Here are the values guys, preset level 60, pick up off, compressor 12, amp G6 or high gain uh, amp, then noise gate G3, bass 6, mid 4, treble 6, chorus off or modulation off, analog delay 1 or A1, value is 50 reverb is h1 or whole Set 40, pick up off, compressor off, amp, G5, noise gate off, B6, D5, T5, chorus off, delay, D1, and values is 67, and then reverb is H5.
here it is guys so you got squeak ms800 ms4 by 12 tape echo and plate i will put in the description guys uh the values for this one um i did a video uh, separately for this so if you like this patch so you can just uh, click the link and watch the tutorial of this teeth um, lead tone Um, here it is guys I forgot to mention uh, another uh, good effects would be booster uh, instead of your overdrive and then our amp sim is BGN drive the values for this one guys is on a separate video I've done the video for this ages ago it's called V tone um, lead patch but I'll just put the link in the description guys for you okay and then yeah another one essential effects would be your para eq or parametric eq or just equalizer um, and then as i said the game changer your delay effects all right so this is my lead tone patch <laughs> Here are the values guys so the first one is overdrive and then we've got gain 61 and then tone 71 level 100 next to it is a tangerine amp simulation or this is uh, like an orange amp gain 62 tube 50 level 99 treble 52 mid 56 base 45 presence 56 cab 4 by 12 and output line last is your delay or what you call stereo delay and then time 410 on left 410 on right mix 60 left feedback 48 right 37 level 100 left volume 100 right volume 100 tail off that's it guys thank you for watching and for those who are new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified each time i'm posting new videos 
I hope this helps um, you guys with your pedals. Uh, God bless and see you later. Bye.